Hello and welcome back. I believe I have solved the issue with my audio. I cannot apologize enough for that mistake. Um, I, I This time around, I, I didn't really change. I, I made my voice a little louder, but I'm keeping the game sound the volume it was at. Um, and I... Oh, he's got neck pain from sleeping on a bed. I didn't know that was possible. Interesting. Um, but I, I, my audio tracks are separated now, so, um, I can, I can adjust them to the levels that I would like, which is, um, honestly, it was so easy to do. <laughs> I'm just not good at this stuff. You know, what can I, what, what, what can I say? I, I've only, I've only recently started doing this and this is all new to me. Um having to uh, try to figure out how to edit videos and record and all that stuff this is all just this is all kind of crazy to me all right so that is trapping level four that's exciting because i think i have the next trapping book i'm not going to read it right now though uh today we are going back to the mall um i uh, i spent a little bit of time in between um episodes here I dug in the ground a little bit, organized our inventory, deposited stuffs. Um, I ate the box of cereal we found, which gave me a whole bunch of calories. Is great, so I'm not I'm not lo back to losing weight again. Um, have already verified my audio. Works. This is coming on my left now, now my right. So I don't got to worry about any of that. I currently don't have food though, so I'm probably going to butcher all these birds, and we're gonna need to start this fire up. Uh, and we'll cook these real quick, and then we'll hide out. Okay, or we'll not light these up. Come on. Come on, Lester. You've been living in the woods for how long, and you can't start a dang fire now? There we go. Friggin' guy. He picked up all the sturdy sticks. Picked every time he fails, and I click that option to start, to start it up, it picks up a new stick. Don't know why. Really annoying, though. Okay. Put out fire. Perfecto. Um, so, oh, yeah, these... So I'm not... I am not personally familiar with the Brita's mod. We are running it. Um, if you are unaware, running Brita's was by complete accident. I messed up the mod order, and it, it messes things up when I disable it in the current game. So we're leaving it on. The hardware store we hit, it had these, um, what is this? BG Machete. And this other one. I found these, I grabbed them because machetes are real good. Either, so I don't know if this is long blade still because it is equipped in one hand. Um, yeah, it's, it's equipped in one hand. It's really strange. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, looks like I'm like dual wielding them or something. I don't know. But uh, not only can he equip them in one hand, he can also attach them to the belt. Now that could be... That could be... Uh, Brita's. It would not surprise me if Brita's was doing that. And it was just an overpowered thing. Because a lot of stuff from the Brita's mod is overpowered. Um... You couldn't hear me very well in the previous video, but I was sort of raving about just how overpowered that gun was that we had. Now that just shouldn't be in the game ever. That was absolutely wild. Um, I watched the the kills, and I'm thinking that that gun was sometimes killing more than one, uh, two zombies. I think it was killing over two per shot. I mean, let, take a look at this. Take a look at this. We're at seven. 1,320 kills. Um, I want to say we got over a thousand kills that day, like well over a thousand. Because I wasn't, I wasn't over. What was I? Just at 5,000, and then I looked, and then suddenly we're at freaking over 6,000. It's like holy crap. Uh, so we're we're heading back. The uh, main mission today. Uh, so I've picked up all of the nails. I think I might I might hit up that hardware store again a second time. Just to 
You know, just to just to double check. I don't want to miss any nails because we're gonna use that to expand our our base. I should double check if that was knife skill or not. I need to kill a zombie. I need to watch my skill level just to verify if that is long blade. Okay, long blade is at thirty-two point oh nine. Long blade is at okay, so it that is long blade. But it's a one-handed weapon, weird. Because machetes are two-handed. I wonder if it has the same stamina drain that the actual machete has. Or if the whole thing is uh just straight up better. Okay, we're gonna do like we usually do, we're just gonna walk over there. Granted, you know, I could probably just freaking drive over there, right? Like, if we attract some zombies, we attract some zombies. But we have cleared a lot. Um, and we're not... Realistically, we are not that far from the base. If I gotta walk back to base, like, whoop-de-doo, that's not that far. Ugh. Some... Some freaking guy left all these corpses on the road. I'm supposed to get through here without destroying my vehicle. Make sure we're at the, uh... There's a horde south of me. Hopefully they follow me up here. That'd be nice. I'm, I'm probably gonna... I'm probably gonna take this guy. And we're gonna go right up to... If this go, lets me get to the street up here, I'm just gonna do that. Why not? Heck yeah. Let's get real close. Look at them all. That's a big old group up there. They're cruising, man. Yeah, these zombies, every time, so every time we kill, we've been experiencing this problem, and it has been, uh, like, uh, I don't know. It has been visually much worse than games I am used to, and I think it's because of how many zombies are in the game currently, but, uh, any game I normally play, I am not used to seeing so many, uh, so many zombies just cruising around like this, and they're adjusting every single time we clear out. They adjust and they come over. So we got all these guys here. Don't know who's in the uh, mall. Hopefully, I remember. But um, I want to say, in the previous episode, when I was on the second floor clearing, um, I... I think I saw a katana in one of the zombies. Either this is my skill that's sucking, or this weapon is not very good. I don't know. I mean, it swings a lot slower than the knife. That's for sure. Durability is going down quick. Point, uh... Point of order is... I, I don't know... Mods, I don't know how well they interact with each other, and this is a Brita's weapon, and I have a weapon, a mod that, um, it just, um, it adjusts knives and stuff, um, that, uh, and that was recommended to me. I think it was Jelly. I might have that name on there, that recommended it, but it was an overhaul for blades. Blades and spears specifically. I think it was a nerf to spears and a buff to blades. Did this guy just flop off the ceiling? Okay. She has got a bread knife. I don't need that. Last time we were in here, um, they were, boy, they were just in that corner. They love that corner. Not sure what's in that corner. There's some kind of, there's some kind of zombie bait or something. Look at them. She wants that corner so bad. There's some kind of pathing messed up in here or something. Um, I guess I don't need to loot this store. I'm not, I'm not... We know it's here, so we can come get clothing whenever we want. We have, we have priorities. Not that we have anything that's a super high priority at the moment. Hey, 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 where are you going? Where are you going, sir? Check out my long blade skill. Cause we're we're leveling um, uh, we're leveling a new weapon currently. 
sure why you can't loot this. How are you supposed to know what to buy if you can't see it? I, I would assume that there's a person who sits in here and then you pick a magazine to purchase, but if I can't interact with the magazine rack, how do I know what is in there? Ma'am, it's time, it's time for you to go. What's in here? Uh, performance, mo oh no, we've already read that. Look at that, already read, already read. Check it out. What's in here? Not much. Check these, uh, I'm gonna check these counters. Might be, might be something weird in here. As weird as uh, Lester seemingly is, I am half tempted to go into the toy store and any teddy bear or anything that we find, we're just going to bring it back with us. So that... Because Lester is such a weird dude, right? Like, everything that's going on with this guy, he's just constantly bored, killing all these zombies, bored out of his mind. Oh, do you think an outdoorsy store like this would have a fishing rod? How cool would that be? I don't have a fishing rod. Hockey stick, baseball bats. Cross stick, more baseball bats. Badminton racket, hockey helmet. It's going to eat me. Okay, we get it. Hockey and lacrosse. We get it. We get it. Do you have anything for people who like to fish? Boxing gloves? Those are, uh, for me, those are pretty rare. I don't often see boxing gloves, if I'm being honest. Can you pick this stuff up? Yes, you can. You can pick up the golf, golf as well. That's something I want to keep in mind come back here at some point. Football helmet. Canoe paddle. Basketball. Is that mod? Is that basketball mod? I don't think I've ever seen a basketball. Ice hockey, hockey, lacrosse. Boy, they <laughs> lacrosse and hockey, man. Okay, no fishing rod. Would have thought it would have been in this store. If it was going to be in any store, it would have been in this. This is more of a sports store, but uh, where I'm from, fishing is sort of a sporty type thing. You you find it right next to all the sports stuff. And they, they basically go hand in hand. People take people take uh, fishing very, very seriously around here. Very seriously. There's like $100,000 tournaments and stuff. Craziness. These guys got fishing boats that are like... More expensive than my house. And all they do is go out and they go they they just they just race each other. They fly all the way out to uh the spot that they want to fish in, and then that's that. They fish and <laughs> that's all it's for. It's not like they uh cruise or race around on the lake or anything. They just race the other fishermen out to the spot. So while this is um, not crazy, we're going to level our long blade a bit here. I know we're real good with... I know we're real good with uh, blades. And we're a little bit better with uh, two in a blunt. Or I'm sorry, long blunt is what they call it. Long blunt and spears. Uh, but we, I, I would like to keep... I would like to level up the other skills as well. Change it up a little bit here. Why not, right? Oh, there's, this is the entrance. We saw this entrance previously. Now, I do not know what these stores are down here. This is leading into... I want to say, yeah, it's another entrance. So, um... Maybe we shouldn't come over here. Because this could be... Like, or maybe we should. This could be a lot of zombies. This could be a whole lot of... Every time we've come up to one of the entrances, there's been a whole lot of friggin' zombies over here. This machete is capable of multi-hit. 
So that's a good thing. Holy crap, is that a... Is that a plant store? Are we gonna find seeds in there? How freaking cool would that be? Start an actual farm? If we are about to find seeds, then... Um, I want to say we are about to die. Oops. Oh boy, here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. I haven't looked behind me in a while. <sighs> always, always speak highly about how you should control, control your space, know where you are, always have an out. And then here I am, <laughs> here I am just slowly walking backwards into oblivion, completely oblivious to what is behind me. Come on over here, come on, come say hi to Lester. Lester's got a present for you. I keep hearing zombie from my right. I am wondering, either it is a, a feature of the game to echo, or there might be zombies, because remember this, this is two story. There might be zombies above me coming down. Which I think is more... Oh, I see them... I actually see them kind of coming up and down the stairs, so... I'm thinking that is actually what happened there. <gasps> seeds! We found seeds! Are those rain collectors? The good rain... Oh, and there's farming books? Oh. Oh, I'm so, I'm so happy I could cry. Are those scarecrows too? This store has everything. There's even decorative decorative plants. I'm getting a little excited here, but yeah. Oh, there's a flamingo. Farming, farming. The farming magazine. You freak. We need to start taking some of this stuff. Have we found this? I found that, but let me double check my farming. Zero. So that that is the previous base where we got that. I'm gonna take the watering can as well. And I'm obviously gonna take the flamingo. Because I mean come on, right? Like we need the flamingo. What's the point of uh playing if we're not gonna get the freaking flamingo and decorate? So we got one, three, four. Rake and shovel. Radish seeds, farming master, hand fork. There's that tactical sickle again. What in the world am I going to do with that? So here's rain collectors that are full. What are those? What is that thing? Doesn't say. Weird. Okay, did we check this one? Yes. Okay, next one. And fork. Uh, we need. So we need level two. Um, I have master. <clears throat> we need level two, excuse me. Oh, doghouse. Feeding trough. Oh, I'm excited if we have, we actually get animals. How cool would that be to have a feeding trough? Um, does that say already found or does that say already read? Okay, already read. Perfect. Break. Uh oh. This isn't good, guys. We <laughs> we found the farming store that has stuff. We found a single pack of seeds oh no oh no there's nothing here there's level two perfect and we found david the gnome we're obviously taking him but there's no seeds oh crap all right while we're in here i'm gonna read this comic book Because our unhappiness and stuff is not good. Okay, so I want to see how heavy... Oops. I want to see how heavy one of these guys are. 15. Okay, I don't want to pick that up. Scarecrows, though. We're going to need a scarecrow. We're obviously going to need a scarecrow. What is back here? Another scarecrow. And... A zombie hanging out. Let's loot these shells real quick. Radio batteries. Damn. Damn. 
damn, 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 damn. We found a literal farming store, and all they had was a single pack of seeds. That is some kind of luck. Oh, that is some kind of luck. Well, we have some seeds. Radishes. He's gonna li Lester's gonna live off of radishes. You know what? It serves Lester right. He's done me poorly for so long. Just being bored in the middle of a store and all that crap. Please don't do that. Never have found out what happens if one of them one of them falls on you. Ah, I can't believe we need to take one of those beds as well. Our bed is not a great bed. Oh, we're going to head upstairs. We're going to check out. Eat off. Ooh, lagging. Might be lagging because this is where we... This is where we fought. Okay, so that was an electronic store. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to go back in here. And I want to double check... That I picked up all the <clears throat> something in my throat, man. All the nails. Planks, planks, empty, empty, empty. Hello, hello. Oh, Lester's got some friends up here. Come on over. Lester Lester is a friendly guy. He's got enough for everyone. Did not take the screws, apparently. Let's take that. Zoom in just a little bit here. I'm having a hard time seeing. I don't know if I have a metal cutter. I'll take that. Uh, we, need, we need that stuff. Cordless drill. Um, I will take one. Again, some of this stuff is stuff I don't know what it's for. But we're in a position where we can actually loot without having to worry too much <clears throat> here's another this is a Brita's um, that is a Brita's uh, sledge I think boxes here so it looks like I missed screws I don't have a file whatever that's for garden hoe uh, more machetes, trowel, cordless drill, let's check this, uh, magazines, cordless drills, Thanks. tactile, okay, so we have checked everything, uh, all, apparently I looted all the nails, um, I'm, I'm used to me sort of missing some stuff. Um, and I need to scope out, we need to see the other stores. There's got to be a bookstore in this, this dang place. Somewhere. This was another, I want to say this was another toy store. I might be wrong. That was weird. Man, I'm usually wrong, so. I don't know, it's like a... What do they call these? Journaling? Is that all it is? Yeah, pencils and... I'm gonna skip this one. I don't think we need any of this stuff. I do have the skill recovery mod. Not a friggin' clue how to use the dang thing. Never used it before. I usually just make a new character in a new world. That looks like a sushi restaurant with a conveyor belt. Uh, we're getting real close to aggroing the front. Um, I don't need to go into the sushi restaurant. I don't care. 
And the thing next to it is a office building, so cubicles. I think we are about to aggro the front entrance as well. Whatever. I mean, we gotta clear it out. I swear though, that I saw a dang bookstore. Where the heck was I? This looks like a barber. This is... what is this? Clothing or something? Oh, there's a staircase right there. That's interesting. Oh, it's a... Um, it's, it's another tank toy store. God. Super Soaker? Look at all these toy bears. Um, excuse you. I am shopping. I am looking for things to take Lester's mind off of the apocalypse. Toy car. Toy bear. Oh, there's the um, BB gun. So it does do damage. It does literally like no damage, but it does do damage. If you're ever wondering. Another toy bear. Man, we're going to have so many bears in our base. Do you know how many friggin' toy stores are in this dang place? There's there's toy stores everywhere. Like every every other store is just a full-blown toy store, which makes sense. That is that is like a mall, but just wasn't expecting so many. Um did we do this shop here? I see a deer hanging. Uh, this could be a bakery. This could be like a butcher. It's like an outdoorsy store. It's a bunch of spatulas and stuff. Beef jerky. Oh, if you know I'm going to take that. Come on. Lucky, oh, lucky day for him. Come on. Obviously. Rotten. Rot I'm surprised this stuff is here because um, we are playing on 12 months later. So the real surprise is that this stuff is still just like sitting in here rotting or whatever. Jerky. You knew it. Kitchen knives, cleavers, yeah. So this is like a like a meat meat shop butcher. Big old meat shop though. On the second floor too. Interesting. That means some poor sap has got to carry up all the meat to butcher, all the way up to the second floor. Too bad for that guy. What's in here? Rotten ham. Okay. So we found some food. We otherwise uh, don't care. Next door, next door. I'm gonna have to uh, figure out where in the heck I was that I saw a bookstore. I swear either I was confusing a bookstore or I'm just making it all up. It's all in my head. I don't know, but I, I swear I saw one. Because I ran through here and looked around. Um... I was in this store. I remember being here. This is appliances and stuff. Yeah. We'll be back here for a stove, probably. Do I have another magazine to read? Let's see one. Dang. Was it down there? No, because I was in some of those stores down there. Is it really not a bookstore? I mean, there was books over there, but it was like stationary and journals. They make like their, uh, for like journaling. There were no like actual books. 
Here's an office. Don't care. This was, uh, I remember this one. This There's musical instruments in here. That was interesting because I've never seen in-game, I've never seen like saxophones and stuff. That was kind of cool. Um, I was back there. I was in here. Uh, well, it, it seems like uh, everything is pretty well safe, so... Well, safe with air quotes. This one... don't remember coming into this one. The pharmacy store, I remember this. We didn't loot it. We we looked, but we didn't loot it. All the pharmacies I've come across in game have usually got a back area that is behind a uh, a heavy door. Which might be broken because of the zombies. Um, and behind that heavy door is like the good stuff. Uh, like uh, any antibiotics. The one thing we don't have is antibiotics. We don't need it, but hey, if we can find it, I think it'd be in there. Yeah, so these are counters. Don't care. It might be this room. I'm thinking of. Yeah, they usually have this like storage room back here. And this is where you find the actual good stuff. However, uh, we have got. Oops, that wants to be in there. More sleeping tablets. Okay, we've got sleeping tablets. Okay. Nothing here. Lots of sleeping tablets. Um, let's check these counters real quick. Might be some stuff in the counters. Nothing in the counters. Go figure. All right. And then they have a bookshelf up here. I will scope out. Uh, magazine or a book. Great. There's a magazine. So I'm going to read that. Boom. And I'm going to take this word search magazine as well. Um, actually, I'm going to read it right now because he's already he's already bored. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, let's fill up the water bottle. Okay, so we'll consider this place cleared. I didn't check all of it, but I'm not I'm not that worried about that stuff. So this leaves the southwest end of the mall uncleared. So we got electronics up here. Um, the hardware store, um, which is it's looted. Uh, there's still stuff in there. Toy store here. Is it actually a lootable trash can? It is. That's kind of cool. Um, and in here... Oh, this was the stationery store or whatever you want to call it. It's all paper and books, pens, etc. I hear some growling back here. I may as well go back here and scoop. Wow, that's an unbroken door. Oh my god! No way. Oh. Oh. I'm so disappointed. How do we go through? How do we go through all that we've gone through with Lester? And then we die to that. That is such, such a disappointment. 
Ugh. One single zombie. I'm curious if there actually was a friggin' bookstore over here, because I I just died looking for a bookstore. Oh, I can see it down there. Does it say book, book, naked or something? What is this over here? Here's the bookstore. So I wasn't crazy. We weren't cr Oh, this is so disappointing. Oh. Oh no, they're biting me more. They're biting us more. We're getting the heck out of here. It's already over for Lester. Oh, Lester, my boy. I'm so bummed. One zombie. Place all. Well, that's that. <laughs> oh, that work. This game. All oh, that work down the drain. Oh. Oh, that's so disappointing. Well. It is what it is, I guess. One zombie snuck up on us. So, um... We want to change the default loadout here for our mods. And we want to make sure Britis is now off. For sure, Britis is off. Combat text, blah, 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 blah. Have we found this book? We're not going to run with expanded helicopters. Fitness gain, uh, Louisville spawn, blah, blah, blah. I'm uh, just going to kind of go through these real quick. Mod options, mod templates. Simp oh, simple traits. I forgot about that. Dynamic mini. More simple traits. Vanilla. Huh. What the heck's the difference? Uh, we'll check that out again. Uh, RV interior. We've never found an RV. Breeding. Reduced wood weight. Scrap uh, armor. We don't... I don't normally play with this stuff. Uh, simple. We want that. Simple overhaul. We want that. Skill recovery journal. Standardized XP. I might as well just disable this because I never use it. I always just start a new world. The workshop. Never... I don't think I've ever used it. Trash and corpses. Just the trash. True actions, obviously, vehicle overhaul, water dispenser, weapon conditions, working masks. That's from, that was, oh, it's not on though. It is now by default in sandbox options. Okay. Oh, all right. So we need to, uh, where was it? Simple, no, more simple traits. There's three of them. Simple number moodles one two three four okay okay so there's only these three uh a r more mod balanced around dynamic traits mod you should only have one version act at a time dynamic traits mod adds additional skill traits which missing in original game uh more simple traits mod balanced around default game traits um I have no idea. Guess we'll just go dynamic. Why not? Uh, so, all right. So this is the this is the new load order there. That's gonna reload the game. Um, and we need to make a new character. Uh, oh, Luster's dead. Oh, I'm so upset. One zombie. He's seventy four hundred kills, and one zombie got us. Ah, okay. Solo, uh, sandbox, world one. Uh, oh, do we want to keep starting in Louisville? May as well. Um, I'll load up my uh, woodsman test. So this is the insane 
zombie count, uh, world, everything shut off, etc. 12 months later, obviously. Nature, don't care. Um, I have this stuff disabled because we were playing as if we were the last ones. Loot rarity. Should I change the loot rarity is the thing. It really seemed like I kind of got screwed by uh, some of this stuff. Mechanics, insanely rare, survival. I mean, it does make you go out and loot. If you don't have this stuff set to you, insanely rare. Also affects foraging items. <gasps> there it is. I had this on insanely rare. That's why I could never find um, uh, like carrots and onions and stuff while foraging. So if this affects foraging, I feel like we should have it a rare. I actually think it should be higher like the I have the weapons because if no one else is foraging, wouldn't it be higher? A uh, literature normal. So the logic here is no one in the apocalypse goes for literature. Um, and ammo, ranged weapons, and melee weapons, um, there should be more in this world than there currently is because, um, one, we're playing with so many zombies, and two, it's Kentucky, and it's America. Um, where I am from, there's a whole lot more weapons than you find in these, these, uh, uh this area. Medical, we'll keep it insanely rare. Survival essentials. See, oh, see here, seeds, nails, saws, fishing rods. Would people go for this stuff? Mechanics. So I feel like medical food should all be super insanely rare, but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to increase these to rare. That way some of that stuff is found. So I'm keeping multiplier, uh, multiplier on, uh, we're starting with the starter kit, obviously, because there's so many dang zombies though. I might not do this anymore. Once we have a look at the traits mod. Uh, Multi-hit staying on, uh, or should it stay on? Um, uh, da, 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 we'll play without it. I usually get annoyed when I don't have it on, so here we go. Vehicles, uh, leaving that as is. Zombie lore, fast shamblers, we have them set to fragile, saliva only. Um, the hearing was set to pinpoint. Damage construction, uh, can destroy player, uh, that was on. I might disable that so that we can uh, have our own stuffs. Fence lunch was apparently off. Um, should I change what they are? We're playing with insane zombies. So when you're playing on super insane populations, uh, generally it is... When you change this stuff, it gets a little bit iffy. I've I've played, I've had I had two or three test characters where I changed where I had memory on long, and I had sight and hearing on the highest eagle and pinpoint, and uh, you just can't get out. Uh, you cannot escape. Um, Carl was playing with um, pinpoint hearing. It was bad. It was real bad. Um, Lester was not playing with pinpoint. He was playing with normal. This was Lester's settings. Uh, cognition. Navigate plus use doors. <laughs> That's interesting. It's like uh, season one of Walking Dead. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. How about we read? How about? How about? Okay, so pinpoint. Um, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna slow them down. Shamblers. Leave it on insane. So shamblers. Uh, memory long. Sight poor. Hearing pinpoint. Um. So this is this might be more difficult than friggin'. Uh, Carl. Or I'm sorry, Lester. Up their toughness back to normal. Ugh, I might hate this if I'm being honest. All right, so, um. This is how we were starting previously. We obviously we have respawn off population peak day is day one population start multiplier is at four, which is the max and the multiplier is four, which is the max. I am not sure thinking I kept just so disappointed that he died. So disappointed that he died in the way he did. 
Uh, I'm trying to think. So if we play on insane population again, um, we just run into these because there's just too many zombies. It, it isn't really a case of like um, a skill level at that point. There's just like way too many zombies, right? So, and I've been playing on insane population. It's basically just kill, 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 kill so many zombies over and over and over and over. I wonder, I wonder, should I, should I mix it up? Should we play on, should we play on like a basic, basic setting or something? Maybe. Would that be too weird? So what can we do? What could we do? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Um, there's always sprinters. We can't play sprinters with um, this population though. It would be just suicide. Uh, could do like smart sprinters. We'd have to reduce the population. You could do a eagle-eyed pinpoint and uh, navigate and use doors. Like super strong zombies. Superhuman. I know that is... That's the damage they inflict. So we want... Well, you could do both. Tough. But if you do settings like this on on insane, it won't work. There's just too many. And honestly, even on even on like normal settings in uh in Louisville, it wouldn't work very well either. Looting in a town, it'd be just so hard. I have to play so specifically about staying on the edges. Basically, we do like Lester did stay on the edges and rarely go well, we would never clear them all it would be impossible unless we uh use the cheese strat uh man could change it to low oh i don't know what to do what do i do do we just do the same thing again this would be the th Fourth character spawning in Louisville on the same settings. How low a zombie count is low? Default of one. Population peak multiplier. Set to. Oh my God. We weren't playing on insane population. Where were we? No. Oh, okay. That's. Oh, Lester wasn't. You know, this whole time. So I'm going to reset everything. This whole time while I was playing Lester, I never said it in any of the videos, but I was keeping it in my mind. And I was sitting there and I was like, I played a test character once. And on that character, I was in Louisville and the streets were full. I cannot describe it more than. The streets were full, an astronomical amount of zombies. And when I was playing Sophia, I was playing Lester and Carl, even Carl, there were not enough zombies. And I thought maybe I'm not, because I was on the edge of the map, and I was like, maybe I'm not close enough into Louisville. But no, the reason is, is I mistakenly put peak multiplier at zero. Meaning this, so the default is, you have 1.5 times your population multiplier when you reach the peak day. So if I change this to four and the population peak day is one, we change respawn off, rally group sizes are way up. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to reduce these a little bit here. If this is gonna if this is going to change as much as I think it's going to change, I'm gonna have to reduce this a bit. Uh, I just don't think, I just don't think it's going to work, man, if I do that. 
Uh, take turn that off. Da, 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 cogni basic cognition. Um, navigate. Saliva only. Fragile. Slow shamblers. Strength is normal. I'm treating these as uh. I'm trying to treat these as um, walking dead sort of settings. So I want to make them slow, give them bad sight, but they apparently have pretty good hearing. Um, Oh, I'm th I'm thinking. I'm not talking much because I'm just thinking. I'm n I'm nervous. This actually makes me nervous. This is gonna be this is gonna be uh, uh, miserable. I can I can feel it now. I have a feeling I'm going to spawn in the game and literally die immediately because it's just gonna be it's just gonna be too. Okay, so this got changed as well. So I want to put these up to normal. So this is forging. Um, if we're playing as if there's no one in the world, forging should be normal. Keep mechanics. I'm going to increase survival essentials to rare from insanely rare. Um, nail saws, etc. I don't think that would be a priority item in the game. Uh, we're keeping this. These need to stay high because of the staggering amount of zombies we're going to come across. And we want food at super low and medical at super low mechanics, medical. Yeah. We've got multiplier uh, XP multipliers up. Oh, this is gonna be miserable. Oh, there's a setting that um, he was talking about. I'll leave it on. Multi hit staying on with this population. I I just I just can't. We just can't. So we're still starting. Uh, Twelve months later. Save this setting as a uh, woodsman. Uh, I was this was I was testing these settings when I ended on so uh, insane population. Okay. Next. Uh, oh oh jeez, what in the world? Holy crap! Oh, this is the mod. This is the mod that I have now, right? So that's weird. There's two of the same. And this, that's interesting. You have two of the same. Is that on purpose? Is that a bug? Is that a, is that a bug, I wonder? Huh. So we, um, Lester and Carl were both burger flippers. Um, I'm, what I'm thinking is going to happen here is I think... I'm going to make the game and I'm just going to close it right away. And we're going to jump into the next episode. Trucker loader. Soldier. Botanist. Starts with herbalist. That's pretty good. Grave digger. Accustomed to the dead. Decaying corpses do not cause nausea. That's actually pretty cool. Graceful and gymnast. Priest. Pacifist. No, I'm not doing that. Nutritionist. Detective. High school teacher. Fast reader. Why does high school teacher have sneaking? Can make improvised cleaning supplies. Stun man. Experienced refueler. Camp counselor, former scout, has skills in first aid and foraging. Drag racer, junkyard worker, lifeguard, breathing technique, increased endurance recovery with approaching exertion. More effective if not moving. Eagle eyed. Demolition worker, strong grip. Interesting. Butcher blade tools, more effective. Using short blades gains 15% additional XP for long blades and vice versa. 
Interesting. This would be good with blades. Criminal. Cruel. More effective with weapons. 20% XP for all weapon skills, maintenance skill, and aiming skill. Oh, God. That seems great. That seems great. <laughs> that really seems great. Like, straight up, that seems great. Paparazzi. Okay, so. And these are... Okay, so mechanic, metalworker, burglar. Uh, were any of these changed? So this, I was this changed? Does electrician normally start with generator knowledge? Axe man. No, because I don't recall wood axe my beloved. Better at chopping trees. Faster axe swing. Gain additional axe experience when chopping trees. Can use wood axe more effectively in combat. Wood axe swings faster and costs less endurance. Burglar, carpenter. Oh man. The um, butcher seemed real good to me. That seems appealing. Long blade and short blade skills, because we used a lot of short blade. Uh, we need to give him illiterate sore legs legs begin to hurt while walking running doing fitness and stomping <laughs> what thin skin increased chance of scratches lacerations or bites bites breaking the skin um slack restless sleeper overweight out of shape feeble Fear of blood, disorganized, underweight. Low strength, low endurance, and prone to injury. That's an easy one to kind of get rid of. Slow healer, good points. Um, weak back, curious. Uh, Sophia was a smoker. Can get rid of this bad habit if do not smoke tobacco for a month. Is that normal or is that changed? Uh, panic attacks become less frequent, may wake up from panic. Liquid blood, wounds bleed more. 100% bleeding day. Oh, high thirst. We'll go with that. Depressive. <laughs> I didn't know I was building myself. Depressive, claustrophobic, prone to illness, excessive sweating. <laughs> Conspicuous. Weather sensitive, weak stomach. Okay, so this character uh, does not have the lark. Nyctophobic? Interesting. Owl. So 23 points. Uh, let's take a look at these. You can just straight up start with desensitized. Sharpshooter. Hunter. Brawler. Um, mm -hmm. athletic. So the strategy behind Lester and Carl was that I basically picked a little bit of every skill because every point you get is 75%. And then the points after that are plus 25%. So you can get 75% by just buying out, uh, one, one point. Although that's pretty good. Plus two aiming, uh, marathon hiker. Experience in hiking long reduces accumulation of hunger, thirst, and fatigue if you go for a while without stopping. Knows how to make snare trap, stick trap, and wooden cage trap. Interesting. Swordsman. Shooter. Yeah, this stuff you don't normally start with, like spear skill and stuff like that. Swordsman, that's all. That's all new and interesting. Increases chance to find mushrooms in search mode. Knows herbalist recipes. Can find medical herbs. Can identify poisonous food. Cool. That's four points. Uh, what else? What else? Anything else in here that's real cool? Cutter? Nah, cruel. I mean, cruel. That was in one of these guys, I think. Cruel. For all weapons, skills, maintenance, and aiming skill. I mean, he's a butcher. 
And he's living in the world he's living in. Let's be cruel. Why not? Metalworking. Lucky. Sometimes things just go your way. We need a little bit of luck. Let's put that in our game. God, we need a little bit of luck. Dear Billy, plus one maintenance. I might do that just so I have. Do you see how each point, each skill is just 75%? That's kind of what I try to do. It's probably not the right way to play the game. It's just how I play, I guess. Uh, trapper. Sure. Same percent trapping skill. Sneaky. Stabber. Plus one short blade. Uh, so I already have short blade skill. Now if I add stabber, it goes up to 100. So the second... The value of these points is a little bit less if you already have it. Not affected by uh, harsh weather conditions. I might take that. I had that last time. It seemed pretty good. Eagle eye, cook, cat's eyes, carpenter, uh, auto mechanic, angler, adventure mechanic. Knows how to service repair standard and heavy vehicles. Interesting. Increased XP gains for strength and fitness when not hungry. Nutritionist, iron gut, generator expert. You can just start with generator expert. Interesting. Forger. So these are one point. My God, this is all one point. This is all one, just one point. Boom. I can get five of these. We can get, we have, so, okay, so we have foraging. We don't have farming. I can get a point in farming. Boom, one point. That's 75% XP. Fast reader's cool. Um, we don't have anything in electrical. We can do one in carpentry. Boom, 75%. We can do electrical, boom, 75%. This is, this seems a little good. Seems a little seems a little too good, but I said I would try this mod out, and I'm gonna try this mod out. Fishing. Low sweating. <laughs> So I've got two points. Let's check these out. Trapper. Oh, I have Trapper. Excuse me. We don't want that. Uh, strong back. Can carry more. Bonus plus one to two max weight depending on strength. More strength, more bonus. Interesting. Stabber. Sneaky. Sower. Runner. Slower rate of zombification. I don't know if I care about that. Optimist. Less bored. May not be depressed for a long time. Minus 50% passive boredom generation. Unhappiness can't get higher than 50% for 48 hours. Sounds like something Lester needed. Graceful. Electrical technician. Oh, I took that. Oh, no. I, I took that. That's... um. Two points, I didn't realize that. Cat's eyes, auto mechanic, angler. None of these really super stand out to me. Um, I might just take, I might just take fast reader. Agile versus agile, plus one nimble. And that costs, that's three points. I'd have to drop something if I wanted that. Do I care about Fast Raider though? Wouldn't it be better to have like something else? We can get it cooking. I don't have mechanics at the moment. Do I have fishing? Carpenter, gardener, outdoorsman. I don't have fishing. Sure. Boom. Um, we'll save this as butcher, 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 butcher to save. Okay. Next. Oh, we're going to start with an apron. How fun. All right. So uh, I usually don't care what I play. So I kind of just hit random a bunch. <laughs> Sybil Zamora. I don't know how to say that. Sal. Karina. 
Dan, Dan Ratcliffe, Laverne, Fabian, Kelly, Amelia, Miranda, Lean, Sharon, Parker, Wendell, Greg, Randolph, Donald, Lula, Alberto, Miguel, Fritz. Ugh, none of these are really jumping out at me. Merlin. I have, um, it could just be John. I have just a basic John. He has a Hawaiian shirt and jeans and that's it. Uh, Eileen Montano. No. Maggie Downs. Jenny. Pablo. We're playing Pablo. Pablo Baguette. <laughs> what? <if? laughs> sure. Okay, so this will likely be the end of the episode. All I'm going to do is we're going to load the game. And we're going to see if, if we spawn in a house that is already got zombies in it first. Second, I'm going to sneak, try to find a window, and see if we are going to be obliterated on day one. Um, so let's wait for this to load. See how long it takes. Okay, here we go. Deep breath. All right, I'm on the roof. <laughs> I'm on the roof. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm in, I'm in the roof. Goodness, this is so many zombies. We're on the roof. How do we get off the roof? And we're on this side again. Um, this is a lot of zombies. This is a lot of zombies as soon as I hop down, man. This is a lot of zombies. We would need a plan. We would need a plan. I'd have to run. I wonder if it's livable up here or something. Can I just cruise up here, up there somewhere? Look at them all coming, my God. So bummed that Lester died. Ugh. Ugh. All right. Um. Well, I will think about this. Um. Thank you for watching. I apologize again for the audio issues in the previous episode. I also apologize for being bad at the game and killing Lester, who was doing so well. Um, and now we are stuck on a roof. Um, I don't really have a plan for this. I'm not really sure what to do. Um, Lester's situation. We sort of ran for the woods, lived out in the woods somewhere. I'm gonna have to do that. So basically we're gonna have to leave immediately and hope for the best. Uh, yeah. Uh, I will see you in the next episode. Excuse me. I will see you in the next episode.